A good Monday morning to you, Roger Hill of Weathering Heights. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com. It represents 802 Toyota, Twin City, Subaru, and 802 Honda, all located off of exit 7 on Interstate 89. A fairly flat ridge indicated here. This is generally a rainstorm, a little bit of snow on its northern periphery. This is a secondary weak disturbance. Neither one of these are, it looks like it's going to uh, affect us. These flurries are scattering out later this morning and will be gone. This system is going to pass to our south, so it's not really the main one. We have a lot of jet stream energy, however, that's going to spin up an area of low pressure in the uh, uh, Texas-Oklahoma uh, Panhandle region. And this will be taking a track through the Great Lakes and spreading in a very chunk, big chunk of kind of elongated amounts of moisture. Let's take a look at the computer modeling. So this is our current system we have right now with the uh, precipitation uh, just a little bit to the west and south of us, but that then dries up. This is valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon on Monday. A very strong area of higher pressure located over Quebec, 1038 hectopascals. That's going to be uh, holding strong and bleeding cold air into the front part of that storm system. It looks like it's cold enough to keep most of this storm as all snow. The leading edge just getting up to about the areas near Bennington County, Albany, Schenectady area. This is valid 1 o'clock on Tuesday. Carrying that a little bit forward, you can see the precipitation work in also with a fairly strong uh, pressure gradient working into especially the uh, Green Mountains and western Vermont parts of New York. This area of low pressure is going to be key uh, on the downsloping aspect of these uh, the western slope gusty winds, which look to be somewhere between 35 and isolated 50 mile per hour gusts over some narrow geography. It will occur in conjunction with precipitation following and typically that can buffer some of our valley floors. So this is going to be primarily snow but there will be a period of sleet and freezing rain mixing in. Most of the freezing rain hangs down toward the Massachusetts line but a little bit squirts up further into central Vermont. The far northern tier areas may see all snow, maybe a couple pings of sleet but for the most part it's going to be primarily a snowfall there with no real issues in terms of precipitation. It's those gusty winds we're looking at. As the storm pulls away, we'll see some snow showers and flurries as we go into the day on Thursday, and, and that may linger a little bit longer. High pressure eventually builds in for better weather on Friday. And looking at precipitation type, we can see this storm come in here with a surge of moisture, and then it pushes in with mostly snow on its front end. Note the, uh, orange, the uh, colors of orange as well as reds. That is uh, freezing rain, mostly in the red. Orange is sleet. This mix it into parts of southern Vermont, but you'll notice that it's not very long. It's fairly brief. This is valid at 1 o'clock in the morning. This is 12Z or 7 o'clock on Wednesday morning. European model showing the uh, max temperature is between 850 and 700 hectopascals. You can see that the 0 degree centigrade line is here. This is max temperature in that particular layer. That shows where our warm intrusion is. So as I run this a little further, this is the uh, peak here at 1 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. And by 7 o'clock in the morning, it's out of here and it's back to all snow. Main issues for utilities are going to be winds. And these where the wind gusts are along the western slopes of the Green Mountains. This is valid at 1 o'clock on Wednesday morning. And then uh, the next panel will be 7 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. And then finally, we're pretty much done with the system. And this is uh, our NAM 3-kilometer model, 850 hectopascal wind gusts. This shows the low-level jet. Those purples are shown there with uh, greater than 64 knots. And uh, if you keep a close eye on this, we're going to run this. This is valid at uh, 21Z uh, on Tuesday. That's going to be 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Snow will have started to spread in. The strongest wind max uh, with the low-level jet starts to work in southern parts of Vermont. This is valid uh, 03Z. That would be 10 o'clock on Tuesday night. This is 11. That's midnight. And you can see those purples there along the spine of the Green Mountains showing the max uh, interaction with the uh, Green Mountains, mostly the southern and central part. And this is valid 08Z, so this is 9Z. This is 4 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. And it looks like uh, the wind issues begin to die down by 6 o'clock on Wednesday morning. Back to precipitation. You'll see the storm system producing snow. And these are the total amounts. 
and that would be zero z thursday so we're talking uh seven o'clock wednesday evening and pretty hefty amounts uh somewhere between seven and about 13 14 inches most of it along the central and probably the central into northern green mountains roger hill weathering heights thanks for watching